always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. We had some rain and a few thunderstorms pass across the area this morning. We're tracking some redevelopment now as we look at Storm Track Live here. You can see that we have some thunderstorms in a band which extends from northern parts of lower Michigan down through Hastings and Kalamazoo. So within this line, we are continuing to watch for the formation of some more storms there. You can also see that we have some scattered, isolated showers there as you move into parts of Ottawa County, further north into Muskegon County, Nuego County, picking up on just a little bit of rain. So another line may be forming there as well. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit closer toward the activity in Kalamazoo County right now. You can see that we have a heavy downpour there between Alamo and Kalamazoo, and then immediately east of the city of Hastings, also some pretty heavy rain right now. So there is the potential of seeing one or two severe storms as we go through the remainder of the day here. Not a great likelihood, but considering how humid it is and the cold front that's going to continue to provide that forcing, it's not impossible that we see a couple of stronger storms develop here as we go through the remainder of the afternoon. So make sure that you're staying weather aware have that uh, wood uh, TV uh, weather app downloaded on your phone as well. That's free and a good tool to have. Checking Futurecast here, you can see the uh, line of storms continuing to form here, moving through the afternoon hours. And as we get toward about 3 o'clock today, it looks like most of that has shifted off further east as you head into portions of Barry County, further east, stretching near uh, the capital, Lansing. It looks like there may be a couple of isolated storms left over. We should see a period of sunshine as we get into this evening. Some good news for the first of the Meyer Gardens concerts occurring this evening. There you can see one more band of showers that looks to come through from northwest to southeast right around midnight tonight and tomorrow should be a drier day with some periods of sunshine. A couple of spotty showers can't be ruled out but nothing of great magnitude there. Pretty small chance of rain for tomorrow. Looking at the hourly rain chance then you can see over the next few hours that's when we have the greatest potential at picking up on showers and storms. One more line of showers through the overnight period and then it looks like that chance dwindles into tomorrow. As I mentioned there is the possibility of seeing a few severe storms today, especially southeast of Grand Rapids inside of a marginal risk zone. That's category one out of five. And we could pick up as much as a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of additional precipitation today. The cold front passage looks to occur. Occasional showers last into the weekend. It is going to be cool outside also as low pressure continues to pinwheel over the Great Lakes. We'll have highs in the upper 60s and lower 70s for the next several days. Still warm and humid out though as we look at a mostly cloudy scene in Grand Rapids with a temperature of 77. And it's also very humid. Temperatures right now, you can see some of the effects of the cold front off to the northwest, 66 in Ludington, in contrast with 78 in Kalamazoo, with those dew points in the upper 60s and lower 70s. It is also rather breezy, and that'll continue to be a feature in the forecast. Gusts around 25 to 35 miles per hour here for the next few days. A line of showers through the overnight hours, a low temperature of 59, a high of 71 for tomorrow with an occasional light shower. Looks to be a breezy and cooler day. There's the eight-day forecast. It takes until later on next week for us to have some more warmth return. Emily and Sue.